Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to upgrade your existing Linux Mint version to the newest one which is in this case Linux Mint 22. If we head over to the welcome screen we see here I have the Linux Mint version 21.3. If you have a lower Linux Mint version just upgrade it to this version you can upgrade Linux Mint 21 to the latest 21 version by going to the update manager and on that update manager under edit I guess here you will find the hint to update to the latest 21 version. In this video I want to show you how to update from 21.3 to the newest version 22. This is a very long process so make sure you have a bit time left and I would say yeah let's start through. At first before we head over to the update of Linux Mint let us change our repository because Linux Mint changed their repository style to a CDN based repository if we want and um, we are activating this. This saves us a lot of time while downloading because a CDN network is quite faster than the traditional Linux Mint servers. So I head over to my file manager, head over to file system, head over to etc apt it is here and then we need the sources dot list.d and here we see the official package repositories list. We have to edit them via root so I right click the right space here select open as root type in my password and then with our elevated privileges I open up the official repositories list and we see here in the first line packages.linuxmint.com in my case it's Virginia and um, yeah we need to change this one to HTTPS it's quite important that we use HTTPS there and then we change to fastly.linuxmint.io and this is what we have to change here. This looks quite good if you want you could remove this comment here but you don't have to because I guess it's some automatic recognition for the Linux Mint function. So I save the current file and close the official package repositories dot list and let us head over to our update manager and let us see we see a apt configuration error. Let us refresh everything and let us see if everything is working right now. After some minutes then everything is okay and everything is back to normal. So make sure after changing this official package repositories dot list head over to the update manager and press refresh once and then there shouldn't be an error message in the end. At the next step we have to ensure that we have all the latest updates of our Linux Mint 21.3 version so I in my case have to install these updates so I press install updates type in my password and let us update this thing. After some time we see our update manager is fine. I have here an error message that this is unreachable. Let us head over to refresh and have a look if this problem still exists. This looks quite fine now I guess because Linux Mint has changed this CDN method for the Linux Mint 22. The older versions sometimes put some weird error messages about this but in the end everything is okay unless yeah your system does the update and uh, now we are switched to the better CDN of Linux Mint and now we can start upgrading Linux Mint and start the upgrade script. For that I open up my software manager and I open up Mint Upgrade it is called. Here we have it and select install. We continue this is okay. I type in my password and it is installing. It shouldn't take too long. After a few seconds Mint Upgrade is installed and then we can close our software manager and I have to open up my terminal at this point. 
in the terminal I type in one single command. It is called sudo mint upgrade. Just write it as here and press the enter key. After that, you have to insert your password, how you log in in your computer. And if we have done everything right, then we see here the upgrade tool, upgrade to Linux Mint 22 called Wilma. So I would say, let's go. At the first phase, we need some preparation. So we select OK and it is uh, checking a lot of things here. Just make sure that you close all other programs or you don't do too much on your system while the upgrade is running. Here we see we don't have a system snapshot from today. So I select a fix and here we see my um, time shift snapshots. I select create here and I'm creating a snapshot right now. This takes for me some minutes. After one or two minutes, the time shot snapshot is created for me. So I close this window and we wait for the upgrade tool to progress further on. Then I see some orphan packages here on my system. I head over through every orphan package and this looks everything okay. I have VirtualBox installed. It could be a good idea to remove this one and to add it later again if your upgrade makes problems at a later point of time. But for me, I'm going with all these programs, I guess. That's okay for me. So I select OK and we see here our phase two simulation and download. So let us head over to OK and now everything is downloaded quite quickly and let's wait some minutes for this. These are about, I guess, two gigabytes which are downloaded. So take your time. But before we are downloading these packages, we see download size is about 3.4 gigabytes and we see our cap packages, our added packages. This is quite unimportant. Removed packages is the exciting one. Let us see through it if there's anything important for us. Many of these packages are replaced by some new added packages. So this is quite okay if we have some removed packages here, but this looks everything okay. We see here, okay, VirtualBox uh, 7.0 is removed um, automatically by um, the Linux Mint. In my case, this is okay for me. And also the VLC plugin, for example, and some other tools like, for example, Pulse Audio. This is because we are moving from Pulse Audio to Pipewire. So I select okay and let's go further on. Now we head over to the package download. This now takes some time. About 3.5 gigabytes are downloaded for me. So yeah, see you in some minutes. After some minutes, the update gets to a next step. The last phase, which is called phase three update, the packages will now be upgraded. This process takes a long time. So I select OK and it is taking a lot of time. Grab a cup of coffee and enjoy your time. After many minutes, I get a message, foreign packages, the following packages need to be downgraded back to official versions. This looks very good. We downgrade some packages here and I select fix for this. This is completely okay. After some additional minutes, the update was successful. Now we can reboot our computer and I would say, let's do this together and see you in a minute. After a restart, we now have the latest Linux Mint version installed. If I head over to the welcome screen, I see here Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon 64 bit. This looks good. And now it is time if you want that, for example, VirtualBox is reinstalled if you have it installed via external source, for example, and other apps which are removed. But now, yeah, you can enjoy your new Linux Mint version. I open up change desktop background. I want to open this one, head over to Wilma and yeah, just select a new background if you want. I'm going with this one for this 22 version. And in the end, 
I wish you a lot of fun with the new version. And if you want to know what had changed in this Linux Mint version, then have a look to the video description and to the end card. I will link you this specific video. This was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful Linux videos. Every week we are publishing a new video. So stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.